All right. Hey, hey, everyone. This is Stacy with SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. And on our first video for this CVS, we're going to go over the demolition portion and some things uh, to think about when you are completing the demo. Um, you know, it really depends on, again, like most things, the quality of the plans, uh, what you need or how much extra work you have to put in to uh, properly uh, perform in a takeoff for the demo. So some things are obvious, but some things are not. So let's take a look into this. Now, uh, there's two areas, and let me take this off of there course when anytime you see a demo you know you see the outlets with kind of broken you know looking kind of broken then you know that's something that you're going to demo so in this case you just need a good counting tool okay and it's given us some notes too so you know always go over the notes and let's see what they give us okay Okay, demo existing receptacles and all exposed conduit and wiring back to source. Update panel schedule. And there's a couple things we're going to uh, go over when we talk about all of these things because all of these things that they're asking us to do has a cost associated with it. So where we put it and how we represent it is the thing. So that's why we have to just, you know, first of all, take your time, maybe write out notes. Sometimes I'll go through the notes and count okay if it's something that isn't obvious and it's only written in the words so I'll go through like update the panel schedule if you're new you may want to do that but rule of thumb for me is when we have a renovation we do what's called and when we, when we go over the power portion of this we do what's called balance the panel and so we give time for replacing uh all of the uh the the breakers that are there reconfiguring the breakers so it depends on the size of the panel so we say balance the panel that includes that but then it also includes updating the panel schedule and so i don't need to count for this in this case but that's something you want to think about from my years of doing this experiences if it's not graphically represented in the plans it's written in the word somewhere and so you have to account for it you have to make sure you don't forget it and so that's one way but again you do it enough you know when you balance the panel you have to update the panel schedule so i don't need to me i don't need to make that something that i count so i make sure i don't forget all right so We'll go back so demo existing receptacle and all exposed conduit and wiring back to source update panel schedule if all circuit loads have been removed mark circuit spare see that's all a part of balancing that uh blank uh cover plate da -da 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 -da. demo existing so number two demo existing lighting device so we've got the wiring devices so the outlets and receptacles uh, and then number two, demo existing lighting device and all exposed conduit to wiring back to nearest common pool box or back to source. Now, we have an issue when it comes to this where, yeah, we can demo the outlet, but the conduit back to the source or back to wherever. So... You know, the sources are where? I mean, the original source of the panels are right here. Okay, so you got to think about, well, how do I account for that? Do I just let that slide in terms of man hours? Uh, do, you know, do I just let that go? And a couple of ways to think about that. The, the Again, the, the device, the lighting, the fixture, easy, just count. But the wire, where is it? we don't graphically see it so how do you account for it and there'll be some times where you don't graphically see the light fixture where they'll tell you uh remove lights in this area and there'll be no light fixtures to count okay so when we talk about demo you need to always think about that demo what are we demoing 
if it's a specific item, then you count it. And as far as the man hours for, we'll talk about that a little later. It really depends on how you work that out with your contractor. But in most cases, because I don't account for a wire back to the source, uh, because it's not there, and it's like, you know, you could overbid it doing that. But I know I have to remove the fixture. And so I'll give that an hour. That way, if there's conduit to be removed, that hour should take care of that too. Okay, so ways to think about it. It all, it all depends on if it's graphically represented, then it's easy to measure it and then put a number to it. But when it is not, you got to think of other ways so you don't short yourself in terms of man hours for this demo portion of this renovation. Okay, so that's something to think about. Okay, so let's finish reading the notes because we did, when we see the final the, the video for the final formatting of the estimate. We did include all of these things. So number three, demo alarm, horn, strobe, and associated wiring. Save for reuse. Okay. So when you are demoing for reuse, you're a little more careful with the demo. And so you're going to give it a little more time than you would for regular demo. So regular demo, you can rip it out, damage it in some way, and it's really not important because you're not reinstalling it. You know, you can just cut it, whatever, cut the wires, wherever. But when you're going to reuse it, you're going to give yourself maybe double the time that you would. So uh, like I said, I give most things an hour. And so in this case, am I, uh, because for the alarm, our low voltage is the alarm system contractor and then the high voltage electrician. High voltage electrician will run the uh, junction box and provide the conduit just to the ceiling. And so, are you even going to include that? Or is that part of your scope of work because you're not the security contractor? You know, so that's something to think about, but I just go ahead and include it, give it the hour, give it 1.5 hours because we have to reuse it. Will I reinstall the junction box in another location or, or, or because it's all one unit, right? If it's already there, then it's the junction box and the outlet for the strobe, whatever. So am I, that's, am I going to do it? That's what you have a conversation with your contractor. But if me I'm just going to add it because I got to demo it and, or if you're going to not do it <laughs> you have to exclude it specifically write it uh, this uh, excludes the fire system controls and devices this you know something like that you have to write that out okay number four and our revision clouds okay so number four existing alarm horn strobe manual pool station da 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 to remain okay and so that just means wherever that number four is and it's a, f a few locations we're not demoing that so that's easy and let's see where it is on here is that three or four? Oh, there we go no four Can we see any fours sure it is I can't remember oh yeah here we go lots of fours okay so they said don't take those out and that's fine don't you know don't do don't damage them and they say you know protect it whatever and then five is existing water heater and associated disconnect switch to be relocated and so when we relocate demo disconnect and line side wiring up to ceiling space for remote oh for remote for reroute to new location okay so yeah, uh, it's something like this. We're gonna uh, include the demo and uh, reinstall. So we did that in the estimate. So that's pretty easy. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go over uh, this ones where we may not specifically be given uh, Demo lights in this area, safe circuit wiring from panel MP105 for connection to new lights. Okay, the existing lights and I to remain here. And 
In this case, we're relocating electrical devices and wiring as required at wall demo for a new doorway. And so, let's take that off. All right, so, lights in room 117 to remain, so. And, but the switch to be relocated to new doorway. So, from here to there. And so I counted remove and replace light switch. Okay, pretty much for that. And now, demo lights in this area but there is a, and we're not pointing to these lights so this area means in an area where they don't show you where the lights are and so what do we do we have to and that's where I had that area demo lighting area to where and then I deducted that actually so it should be this let's because I know what I did but let's make sure we have it clear so in these two areas, everything is to, or three areas, everything is to remain. And so, they're telling us to demo lights in this area, this area, but they don't give us lights. And so, what I would normally do is give myself, I'm gonna call it lighting area, Okay, so that one's different, so we're not going to include that area. All of that says demo lights in this area. All right. What is that? We're going to go up. Is that a wall? Oh, that was, yeah, I don't know what that is, but... We're just going to do it this way. All right. Yeah. Here and then here and finish it off where we started. All right. So we have that area. And if we have the area, then we can go to our uh, cost book and it'll give us a uh, lighting based on the square foot okay so we know this is about <clears throat> 2800 square feet of area so we would go to the cost book in that portion and try to allot a labor cost for demo or we could wait until or we can see you may be shorting yourself or you may be doing too much if you do it that way so give it 10 cent a square foot, 20 cent, a 25 cent a square foot, whatever the cost book says it should be. Just base it on something less than that because <clears throat> you're not demoing everything. You're just demoing, demoing the lights and the conduit. Or you can just go from your lighting plan. Go from your lighting plan in this area because it says demo those lights and use the switch same wiring to connect the new lights well we don't hear the new lights but we don't know if we had the same number of new lights as old lights and you would hope that you would get a walkthrough if, when you get the contract so you can clarify this part and clarify any part that you can't determine in uh on the plans and that's typically what you what you do it's like you you bid that's why you don't spend a lot of time <laughs> oh i need the cost for the ring and then no you just get the, the assembly price okay because you want to bid so much that the law of large numbers will start to kick in and you'll start to win okay and once you win and this is how i mean my experience forever has been very few except for state jobs whether you are big you know schools or something will allow you to do a walkthrough okay and so you have to be able to do this without virtue of a walkthrough and be able to think 
Okay, well, I'm not going to add what's not there. But you do have to give yourself uh, a good amount of whatever. So for the demo for this, you could just say, okay, these are the amount of lights that I'm going to install. So I'm just going to say I'm going to demo the same amount and do it that way. And, 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 you know, you'll be good. You may be shorting yourself. You may, you may not. But that's how we're going to do that. Okay, so we are going to go over uh, the... Well, how we priced it when we go over the video for the final formatting of this but just in total this was our only demo sheet so this is what we had to demo you know broken lines mean you're taking it out or they're giving you here's a revision cloud that's what that is and telling you to read where we have number one so we know what to do okay so for demo how many of each thing do you have to take out and you can price that uh, based on it. You always have to make sure you have a good cost, but there's no thinking, no guessing. That way you are not cheating yourself or overbidding. Okay, and you're, you're, you're competing nicely, uh, even if you're not, you know, winning more times than you're not. But if you're winning, you know, you know it's based on something that you can determine that you feel fair because you were able to determine how many man hours by something real and all of that. So I think that's that's it for the demo section. If you have any questions, if you purchase this module, you have unlimited questions you can ask and that you send to me at education at sfjohnsonconsulting.com. And uh, the next uh, uh, video will be our power plan. Then we have the lighting plan, then we have the uh, panel schedule, and then we have the pricing and the final formatting. So this uh, set of videos will be about four to five. So Stacy Johnson, SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services, 14 years doing this, teaching my clients, friends, and children how to be good at everything they do, but especially electrical estimate. estimating. So it's our favorite. It's love we love to do it the bigger the project the better and we hope you purchase this module we'll put a few on youtube but 149 you have everything for life and again questions for the life of you because i'll be here a long time all right thank you very much see you next time